AI and its ability to automate millions of jobs around the world has consistently been in the headlines over the past few years. Yet many of us are unsure of what AI exactly is, how it actually works, and what it means for our future. Stay tuned and I'll help clear some of the smoke surrounding this hot topic. Are you a thought monkey? If so, hit the like and subscribe button for more videos that make the seemingly complex simple. To understand AI, it's helpful to first think about human intelligence. We can break down human intelligence into certain categories. Think of our five senses. We use these senses to perceive our world. For example, if you are sitting outside on a park bench, you might be able to see a variety of similarly shaped and colored objects that you recognize and label as trees. You may hear children in the distance laughing and come to the conclusion that they are having a good time. You may feel a piece of trash under your foot and decide to throw it into a nearby trash can. In each of these examples, you are using a different category of your intelligence to make conclusions and decisions based on your perceptions and thoughts. Artificial intelligence is similar. It is a subject within the field of computer science that tries to replicate, improve upon, and scale human intelligence by mimicking it using computer programs. Think about how you might create artificial intelligence using just one of the examples we talked about. Could you train a robot to detect objects that it could perceive as trash, collect it, and put it into a trash can? If you did, you'd be creating a robot that uses multiple forms of human intelligence. For example, pattern recognition. The robot seeing an object and recognizing it as trash. Or visual spatial. The robot navigating the park and avoiding objects to move toward the trash. Or eye-hand coordination. The robot picking up and throwing away the trash. Just like psychologists have broken down human intelligence into different categories, computer scientists have broken down artificial intelligence into different categories, each with a specialty of its own. While these numerous and specific categories are outside of the scope of this video, there are two high-level categories of AI to keep in mind and that we'll review, general AI and narrow AI. General AI is often called strong AI. This form of artificial intelligence doesn't exist yet. It refers to a type of intelligence that can fully and holistically replicate and expand beyond a human mind. You can think of it as what you see represented in many movies or TV shows. Westworld, HAL from 2001 A Space Odyssey, WALL-E, etc. Dozens of companies around the world are hard at work in making this dream become a reality. Simply search Google Brain, OpenAI, or Facebook AI Research to learn about a few. You may be asking if general AI isn't yet possible, why are people freaking out about it? The answer is that the other and more limited type of AI called narrow or weak AI is already, for better or worse, revolutionizing our industries and world as we currently know it. Narrow AI is a form of artificial intelligence that is currently used around the world by almost every organization, including governments. To be overly simplistic, narrow AI is essentially a computer program that simulates very focused and often repetitive tasks that humans do, often with the goal of completing these tasks with more precision, productivity, and profit. There are many examples of narrow AI. A few you are probably familiar with are Siri and Alexa, which use speech recognition to understand what you are saying, manufacturing robots using advanced visual systems to put together materials, conversational chat robots using natural language processing to understand customer service questions and offer up potential solutions. These are just a few of hundreds and thousands of examples. One example that has been getting a lot of attention recently are the recommendation engines that Facebook and YouTube use. Think about YouTube video recommendations. While theoretically video recommendations could be done by humans, it would be ineffective, slow, and costly. Let me explain. As you are watching this video, the YouTube AI algorithm automatically captures your data by using various engagement inputs from you and others. Here are a few of those inputs. Your video viewing history, if you click on or watch ads versus skipping them, how much time you spend watching the video, whether or not you give it a thumbs up or down, if you subscribe, if you write a comment, along with many others. 
YouTube uses these data points and countless others to determine what videos and ads on YouTube are most likely to capture your attention and have you engage with. The goal is twofold. One, to predict videos that you will engage with and capture your attention. And two, keep you on the platform as long as possible in the hopes that you will engage with hyper-targeted ads that will improve the profitability of the company. A human could do all of this, of course, but that human wouldn't be able to process the thousands and thousands of data points needed to understand your behavior and accurately predict the videos and ads that you as a user would most likely engage with. And you would need thousands, if not millions or even billions of humans to work at the scale that YouTube's recommendation AI system works. Keep in mind that this is just one of many types of narrow AI. What's important to know, and what most don't, is that we are already in the midst of an AI revolution. And this is why so many people are anxious about what the future of AI means for us. To summarize, artificial intelligence is a tool that computer scientists have and are creating that equips machines with the ability to perform traditionally human tasks in a way that is more precise, productive, and often profitable than if humans were doing those same tasks. The question remains, however, what might the future hold for AI and how could it impact our society? There has been a lot of debate in whether or not AI is going to improve our world or not. There are efforts to use AI to detect and treat illnesses like cancer, curb the expansion of climate change, and minimize the deaths we see on our highways by creating self-driving cars. There are also efforts to use AI to create surveillance states in order to promote specific behaviors, as seen in China, threaten democracy and influence elections around the world, as proven by Cambridge Analytica, and to keep users glued to their social media feeds, increasing profitability, which is linked to higher rates of depression and suicide. So what do you think? Is AI a tool that will ultimately benefit us and the world? Write your thoughts in the comment section below, and as you do, realize that YouTube will probably capture what you write in an effort to better understand your behavior and predict videos you may find too irresistible not to watch. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to stay updated with my latest ThoughtMonkey videos.